Wokey have made the trip to the sunny south coast to take on Eastbourne Borough at the Langley Sports Ground today. The home side sits 17th in the table and have won two, drawn two and lost two of their last six matches. Gary Hill's side have won their last four, but he is forced into one change. Captain Adam Newton is out injured, so in comes new loan signing Glenn Wilson, who joined the cast from Crawley Town in the week, as did Mike Sester. And Eastbourne Barrett will get this game underway. A leak for corner for Welking, whipped in by Derek Duncan. Allen ends with the header. No trouble, Mitchell Walker. Allen goes to Ben Watson. His ball will get the cross in. Tom Davis heads it away, but Matt Smart will drill it in. No trouble, Hal. Both sides with an effort on goal early on here. Stuart Anderson playing a neat one-two. And now the ball comes to Matt Crabb with the effort. Great save from Aaron Howe, and it needed to be. That was goal bound from Crabb. Excellent long range strike. And they will have a corner. Just so a whip in. Oh, and there's the Alex Lacey. Uh, Eastbourne have the lead. What an excellent header. Working defence at sixes and sevens. And Lacey got in unmarked and absolutely powered his header past Howe. And after 13 minutes, it's 1-0. Ball forward from Andy Mola, looking for Giuseppe Salt. A good play from the goal scorer, Lacey. And play the ball forward. And it's neatly knocked off by Gary Hart and the ball will be played forward for Ben Watson and Watson could be in here it's Ben Watson with the opportunity and it's in the back of the net and would you believe it Eastbourne have to Woking a left stunned it the team battling relegation looks like the one at the top of the table Hal came out but he got nowhere near Watson who turned the ball in from a awkward angle 15 minutes gone, and the home side lead by two goals. Duncan with the header. Now we'll come out to Crab. He's not very lively. Clips the ball in towards Watson with the effort. Okay, you're all over the place. New boy Glenn Wilson's throwing towards Alan Innes, bouncing awkwardly. Headers goes in there. Soul is in there. Cowan Hall is in there. But Woking can't turn it goalwards. Bouncing awkwardly. Mitchell Walker came to collect it, didn't really get anywhere near it. And Callan Hall almost managed to turn it goalwards. Sold over a free kick. And he rifles it in. Walker will be a match for it. And after a rather disappointing start, Woking have finally looked lively here. Smart drills in the free kick, but that won't trouble how. Oh, and that cross actually caused how more problems than it looked like it was going to. So with the free kick, ends with the header, and it wasn't far away. And ends causing the home side a lot of problems from set pieces. Cameron Hall will place this header out to the feet of Moses Animola. And Imola will take on Sam Cole and get his cross in. And Sol is up there. And it could come to Betsy. And now it could come to Cowan Hall. Oh, it's off the line. Comes back to Betsy now. Still Kevin Betsy. Well, it was he who set up Cowan Hall. And that took a defender on the line to prod it away. Kieran Murta. Here's Kevin Betsy. Betsy with the flick. Back to Murta. Back to Betsy. It's Kevin Betsy. Oh, he couldn't get his shot away. Duncan with the free kick. Once again, it's aimed towards Inns, who wins his header. And he could come back down now to Dunk. Betsy in there, I think. And suddenly, Eastbourne are on the break here. And it's a ball over the top. Looking for Watson. It's Watson in there. It's a good save from Howe. Action at either end there. And Howe was forced to make the save. 
Doyle with the clearance. Sol with the flick. Kevin Betsy will out muscle Darren Baker. No foul, says the referee. Here's Betsy. Now finds the substitute, Wayne Gray. Gray on the run. Crosses it in. Palmed away. It could come to Andy Mola. Oh, he's off the line. And now it's Sol. Still in there. Gray now with the chance. Oh, he's headed away. Could come. Murta's looking for it. Andy Mola in there. Neatly laid back. Cross will come in again. Headed away. Eastbourne are scrapping for their lives in there. Andy Mola with the effort and another one off the line. And Sol couldn't quite turn it goalwards. Kieran Murta on the ball. Playing it neatly into Derek Duncan. Who will look for the run of Kevin Betsy. Scored his first goal since returning in the week. Cutting inside now and playing the ball into the penalty area. Oh, and the referee's given a penalty against Simon Johnson for handball. And working of a lifeline here. Well, it didn't look to be too much in that. We'll see the replay again now. Well, his arm was out. And the referee reckons it was a penalty. And Giuseppe Sol will have the chance to score his 11th league goal of the season. And he does. And working it back in the game. His incredible goal scoring run continues, Giuseppe Sol. Several games he's scored in a row now. This time from the penalty spot. And after 55 minutes, working and making a fight back. So on over this, this is Duncan, and Duncan will take it quickly. Don't think many people were ready for that. Here's Murta, skipping around his man into the penalty area. It's Kira Murta. Oh, and then Sol comes flying in, goes over a challenge, and then it's Annie Muller on the ball. Neatly played by Davis out to Annie Muller. And then Wilson, back to Andy Mola. Wilson again, looking playing neat football. Here's Murta. Murta drives it in. Wayne Gray with the opportunity. Oh, well, looking have to make the most of these opportunities. Here's Betsy. Kevin Betsy with the attempt. Wilson with the ball forward into Andy Mola. Andy Mola will turn and get the cross in. Sol is up there. Substitute Charles Animino with the ball in and cries for handball as that was cleared onto Duncan's arm. Don't think there's a lot he could have done about it. Oh, and a quick free kick is taken and Animino's in here and he gets his shot in. Good save from Howe. It's been a bright spark since coming up. Oh, it's a poor corner from Murta, but it will Gavin get another chance here. And he'll lay it back to Sol. It's Giuseppe Sol. Oh, and there's a massive scramble in there. And somehow Wayne Gray was in there and Betsy was in there, but it's not gone anywhere near the goal. Unbelievable. Wilson there too. And then it came off Betsy's chest and was cleared away. Wilson with the throwing. He's looking to win the header. We'll come back to Murta. Excellent ball to find Sol. We'll take it down fantastically well. It's Giuseppe Sol. Looking for Alan Ends with a header. Oh, and it goes all the way along the goal mouth and agonisingly wide. Wilson forced back. Mino, I think, closing him down. Oh, and House kick has gone off Andy Mino and it will go wide. He can get away with that one. There's Betsy on the run. Look at him go, Kevin Betsy. Now to Murta. Now Sester, the substitute. Flicking it in. Half headed away, comes back to Murta. It's Kieran Murta still. Murta still. Oh, it's a good save from Walker. Not long to go. Okay. Just can't find this elusive equaliser. Here's Davis. Clipping the ball neatly into Betsy. Here's Kevin Betsy. In comes the effort. Oh, he's everywhere. Betsy then again. And Sol is there. And no, no, I think the flag's up on the far side. It's not going to count. Unbelievable scenes here. The working players are absolutely furious. Betsy has gone over to the referee. Oh, and Betsy could, looks like he could be in trouble here. I think he's going to be booked for descent. Unbelievable. In came the attempt twice. Wilson was in there, then Betsy, and then Sol turned it home, but a judge to have been offside. Don't think we can tell whether he was or that. Oh, and Betsy's been sent off. Oh, it's unbelievable. 
Drama gets worse for Woking here. Betsy sent off, presumably for descent. And time has run out, and Eastbourne Borough have beaten Woking here by two goals to one. But Woking have Dorchester Town to thank elsewhere as they've beaten Dartford. And it remain, means they remain eight points clear at the top of the table, although Dartford do have a game in hand. Make sure you're at Kingfield on Saturday when Woking take on Thurrock. With just six games to go, every point is vital.